Welcome to today's 3D print. How about some little more involved Valentine's prints? These are multicolor or they do stuff. These are just a bit more complicated, a bit more interesting, and a bit more rewarding when they're done. Stay tuned. The simplest one, and arguably one of the coolest ones, is the twist vase. <laughs> well, now you see how it works. <laughs> um, remember the guy who did the candy canes for us? Well, he did a heart-shaped one. And it is two twist, it's a, it's a heart shape, that's candy cane twist. So two prints that spiral together form a solid hole. Now these are a little on the loose side and that's because I did these in vase mode so the dimensions aren't quite precisely what maybe he intended but by doing it in vase mode they are absolutely flawless. There isn't a single imperfection anywhere on the entire model and they print it fast using very little filament. So this is printed in Protopasta Candy Apple Red and 3D Solutex Sakura Pink two of my favorite pink and red colors. And this, I didn't want to waste any of the filament, so I let it push out the rest of the pink before it switched over to the can, uh, candy apple red. That's why this one has a little bit of pink on the bottom. But I didn't feel like yanking out and wasting all that filament. But yeah, that is cool. Very, very cool. Thank you for making that for us. Next up, the Gear Heart. This one was a little daunting because it's a lot of plastic. And this plastic is $60 a kilogram. It's 30 bucks for a 500 gram roll. So I didn't want to waste it. <laughs> and um, it came out great. Uh, the only thing I had to reprint was a couple of pins because I broke them. But this basically prints as a bunch of parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine big parts and a bunch of pins to put them all together. But the way this works is they are actually spinning, moving gears. And after a certain number of revolutions, and I love the fact that I keep wanting to drop this thing, as I really do not want to drop this because it's a, it's a lot of money in plastic. But you keep turning, and you keep turning, and you keep turning, and eventually you come back to one more turn, I believe. I think this is the five rotation one. So you have to go around a full five turns, and then there you go your back to your heart shape. That is just cool. And that is printed in protopasta candy apple red. I'm sorry if I mentioned that too much, but people yelled at me for not mentioning the filaments I used, so I'm trying to get in the habit of making sure I mention that. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And then we come to this one. You guys remember that? Um, dynamic wave simulator thing. I mean, you crank the handle and the wave moves. I don't know if it's the same guy. It probably is. Maybe it's somebody else. I'll have a link down below to the Thingiverse files. But this is a beating heart box. So I printed all of these parts in 3D Cytotech Sakura Pink and the heart itself is printed in Protopasta Candy Apple Red. And there is a handle here which runs to a cam like device inside which interfaces with this and when you turn it the heart beats. Let me give you a closer look at that. Look at that. See from this side? Isn't that cool? I love that so much. I think that came out so neat. This actually protrudes through. So you have to do a little bit of trimming sometimes to get them to fit just right. All these parts friction fit together, no gluing required. This all fits together nicely. That is beautiful. I love that so much. I mean, it doesn't do much. It just looks cool. It's like a little desktop toy. It's just something fun. And I really love how all that works. It hangs a little bit sometimes if you tilt it, but after you work it for a while, you know, you get rid of all the burrs. And what's amazing, this all prints together. 
the, 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 the this, this part here, this red part in the center, that all prints as one piece together and they, they're, they're interlocked. Very impressive print. I was wondering how they did it without the multiple pegs that the other one used and that's amazing. It's, it's almost like an accordion, the way that works. It's, it's very, very pretty. The heartwood, these pieces insert with pins. Let me see if I can get one out for you. There you go. So there's a centerpiece there. And that centerpiece, you insert the pin, and then you insert this piece on top of the pin, and there you go. You build your heart. You gotta be careful assembling it. The piece, there's, there's alignment. The pieces have to be aimed a certain way, facing a certain way. But uh, it's not that hard. You just watch the video that he includes, and he'll walk you through it. But once you get it assembled, that's it. There's three different versions of this with coarser or finer gears, so the number of times that you have to rotate it to get it to come back. I chose the middle one because it's less rotations to get it to come back, but more gears, so you have a finer looking model. It's not so um, coarse as the, the lowest gear one. Very cool though. This, this, is a, this is a very cool print. This is printed on, all of this was printed on the Ender 2. But I love this, this is cool. This is, this is another one of those prints that I'll probably keep. You know, give it to somebody special, or just keep it because this is just, this is just nice. It's nice to show people. It's got weight. You can hold it in your hand. Uh, but yeah, it's nice. And then of course, don't forget the vase. I love when you can do stuff like this, especially when you can mix multicolor on a non-multicolor printer, and it just looks pretty. It's just very, very nice, well designed, and it looks nice sitting on your desk. Very pleased. You guys have a great day. I have one more Valentine's episodes coming. Jewelry. <laughs> Stay tuned.